Cases are rising across the country. Tests are hard to come by in many places, or there's long lines for them. Schools are closing again or having to go virtual. There is a sense among many that the country has lost control of the virus. Would the White House agree with that? We would not. Morning news. Um, does the White House have a reaction to Senator Cruz saying um, President Biden may be impeached if the Republicans take back the House next year, specifically for the border policies? Well, uh, our reaction is maybe Senator Cruz can work with us on uh, getting something done on comprehensive immigration reform and putting in place measures that will help uh, to the border instead of uh, name calling, accusation calling, and making predictions of the future. Uh, the president right now has had 266 political appointments confirmed by the Senate. That is uh, roughly on par of where uh, President Trump was in his administration at this time. It's about 100 less than where Presidents Obama and Presidents Bush were at this time in their first years in office. Is, is that lower number of political appointments impacting how President Biden can govern and implement his policies within the executive branch? They could have moved forward. More of these could have moved forward. Uh, many of our nominees have received overwhelming support and majorities uh, from Democrats and Republicans. Uh, and the process uh, for most of the time in the Senate was wound up in uh, lengthy debates when really there could have been uh, unanimous consent votes and moved a member of them forward. Uh, the Senate and Senate leadership to spend more floor time on uh, pushing nominations through? Well, I think uh, there's a way to move them forward without consuming uh, day, hours and hours and days of floor time. Uh, There's still 141 positions where there have been no nominee put forward. Why is that? Uh, again, I, I think uh, the president, uh, one, is eager to have these nominees. He has nominated, confirmed. That's something the Senate can do, Congress can do. And uh, there are nominations. He wants to find the right person to fill the position. More question. Why is the president not nominated an ambassador to Ukraine yet? And does he plan to do so soon? He absolutely plans to nominate an ambassador to Ukraine, just like any position. He's always looking to find the right person to nominate to fill the role, an important one. Has he interviewed people for that I'm not position? gonna get into more details about a personnel process. Back uh, in the summertime, uh, when uh, OPEC said that it was going to boost production of, of crude oil by 400,000 uh, barrels per day, um, uh, Sullivan said, uh, it's simply not enough during a critical moment in the global recovery. Um, today, OPEC stuck with that decision to keep the exact same amount of, of oil production increase. Um, why is the White House's reaction different this time? as appropriate. And obviously, as we said at the time, uh, our objective is ensuring that the supply out there meets the demand. Uh, obviously, we took our own steps in coordination with others as well. But they haven't made any changes to their, what they're doing. So why, why is the message different? Again, we took steps um, uh, on our own, right? Uh, we uh, have taken steps in coordination with other countries around the world, and our objective is to ensure that the supply out there meets the demand. We'll continue to have conversations if we have ongoing concerns. I mean, if, had you taken that framework and put it through the legislative process, we could have text, Senate could be moving towards a vote this week um, on something that Senator Manchin supports. Why is it that you haven't decided to? Have you to done a vote count on the I, I, former proposal? No, not, please correct me if that's if that's if that's wrong. But why not? If if he's kind of the major stumbling block to getting legislation passed, why not go with something that he endorsed a month ago? Well, I think Trevor, it's important to note that, and I think a Senator Manchin noted earlier today, we have a very slim majority in the Senate. That means you need every single senator from across the spectrum of the Democratic Party agreeing to what a package looks like moving forward. Uh, we're not naive about how challenging that is uh, and how challenging it can be, uh, but we feel good about the possibility of getting something done. But a little more broadly, uh, the polls keep showing again and again that something like 70 percent of Trump voters think the election uh, was rigged, that President Biden is not legitimate, and so on. Um, is there anything that President Biden feels he should have already done, or is there anything he feels he still can do to actually talk directly to those people and try and get you know, people's reality to match a bit more in this country? I think what uh, he's going to continue to do is speak to everyone in the country, those who didn't vote for him, those who may not believe he is the legitimate president, about what he wants to do to make their lives better. And he sees that as his responsibility as the president of the United States. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, sorry, I just jumped around there. It was a confusing pinpoint. Go ahead. 
Uh, the White House Labor Task Force, led by Vice President Harris, was supposed to release a report in October about how the federal government can boost unionization in this country in a variety of employers. It's January 4th, and that report has not come out yet. What's going on, and does the, do the president and vice president still care about this initiative, given everything else that's going on? I would say the president has been an advocate for uh, collective bargaining rights, and the vice president, uh, well, a little younger, not in public office quite as long, but has also been a strong advocate for uh, the rights of workers. Um, and so I think that speaks for itself. Of course, this is an initiative they, init they put forward. Um, I am certain I can check on the status of the report. The midterm elections are 10 months away. Does the is the president concerned that the window is closing to pass legislation that could have an impact on how people vote in the midterm elections? I'm not going to make a prediction of that. Uh, what I will say and what the president will talk about uh, in his speech on Thursday is also that, um, you know, people came out, the American public came out in record numbers last November and participated in our democracy. And we shouldn't underestimate uh, the role of the uh, movement and grassroots movement of the public to have their voices heard. Uh, since the president didn't take questions from us either today or yesterday, can you tell us whether he, um, whether he can live with a smaller Build Back Better package or a package that doesn't have the child tax credit?